everyone and welcome. I'm Christy Lee, host of Motor Trends Garage Squad, and today your host for this very awesome SEMA special from Ford. We can't be in Vegas at SEMA, so we cooked up something a little different. A live exclusive Q&A session for our would-be SEMA attendees and F-150 enthusiasts. I'm here at the Lake House with the all-new 2021 F-150. BDS Suspension took this all-new truck to another level and turned it into an awesome dual-purpose work and play rig. We're going to meet some special guests to talk about this custom build and answer your questions. But before we meet them, let me introduce you to this 2021 F-150. Under the redesigned hood, Ford will offer a total of six engine choices, including gas and diesel, and this all-new Ford 3.5-liter power boost. The only full hybrid powertrain offered in a full-size pickup. It will deliver 430 horsepower with 570 foot-pounds of torque, and Ford is targeting an EPA-estimated range of approximately 700 miles on a single tank of gas. Whew. <laughs> Every exterior body panel on the 2021 F-150 is new to give it even more of a bold, strong design cues that Ford pickup owners love. Look at those big wheel arches stamped into the high-strength military-grade aluminum body and how the BDS team filled them up with big 35-inch truck tires. For most real truckers, the back end of the truck is the working end. So Ford came up with this tailgate work surface. It gives you a place for writing, cutting, measuring, and using tools. And every F-150 tailgate has built-in tie-downs that double as bottle openers, plus reinforced clamp pockets to hold materials and work pieces in place. A lot of F-150 owners also need portable power for work and for play. With new available Pro Power onboard from Ford, you'll never have to carry a bulky gas generator in the pickup box. The F-150 is a generator with up to 7.2 kilowatts of power for work or play. The new 12-inch display is the largest ever offered in a Ford F-Series truck with intuitive information panels and a built-in digital owner's manual. Trailering is why many folks own a truck, including myself. So Ford made trailer reverse guidance part of the new 360 degree camera package with high resolution cameras to provide multiple views, all the views. We all want to be connected all the time, on the road, on the job, on the town. So Ford made their all new Sync 4 system standard on every F-150. No nested menus or weird system commands. You can even set a wake word like, okay Ford, instead of pressing a button to enter commands. And with wireless over-the-air updates via the standard embedded modem, this all-new F-150 will always have the latest tech from Ford. Whether it's for work or play, a lot of us use a laptop in the cab, so Ford made it easy. But they also kept the center shifter we all know and love. Ford engineers made a real shift handle that folds forward and stows to make way for this new class-exclusive available interior work surface. The F-150 cab is not only super productive, it's a great place to recharge. These class-exclusive available max recline seats fold flat to nearly 180 degrees so you can actually stretch out and relax. With heating, cooling, and massage, it's better than flying business class. And there's even new lockable storage underneath the rear seat that adds a vault to your F-150 cab. With Pro Power on board, the crew at BDS Suspension have equipped the truck to be a mobile metal shop for serious fabrication in the middle of the wilderness or an awesome weekend base camp for fun at the lake. So now let's meet my special guests, Carter Reed of BDS Suspension and Ford's own Craig Schmatz and Todd Eckert. And we'll take you through this custom built 2021 F-150 and answer all your questions. Hi, I'm obviously not Christy Lee, I'm Todd Eckerd, and we're going to be talking tonight about the all new F-150. With me are Carter and Craig. Hey, Todd. Hey, Good evening. Carter, you took that F-150 and made it an incredible work play machine. Tell us about the build in your own words. What do you love about it? I mean, this truck is such an awesome platform to start with. I mean, whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. We have obviously a lot of play things on this truck, but also a lot of work. And really, the, the F-150 gives us such an awesome platform to do that with. Well, and that's really the dual purpose of F-150, all about work and recreation for our owners. Yep. Craig, what do you think? I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's often you see a project truck, it'll be really dialing up the play aspect or the work aspect. This one really does it both. It's, it's really exciting. And the, the cool thing I like about it, this truck is attainable. Like, attainable to the regular person, it's not over the top where it's, 
totally focused on the work aspect. Right. It's, it right. can do it all, and it's just, just a great looking truck. Yep, absolutely. We've got a little behind the scenes look for you at the build of this beast. Shall we take a look? Definitely. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. BDS as a whole has been in business for 25 years. We've got a ton of professionals that are really into customizing vehicles. On this project, we knew we wanted to work with the new F-150. We knew we wanted to work with the hybrid because that's something new, that's something cool, and it's something different. The objective with this build, it wasn't to go over the top. We really wanted to key in on what people use their truck for. They use it for work, they use it for play, they want to get out there and go on an adventure. We've been working with Ford for a number of years, and it's really cool to work with a company that has the same mindset that you do, to show what a vehicle can be and what custom features you can add to it. 2020 is one heck of a year, and threw a ton of curveballs at us. Tight timeline for one, to get parts. Back orders and stuff like that, so actually physically sourcing the parts was a challenge this year. The deck system is an awesome feature. It gives you a ton of payload up top and those storage drawers, you can pull them out and actually put stuff in there and it keeps them nice and dry. There was a lot of unknowns and worry, and then at the same time, it all comes together. It's an awesome build that we can hang our hat on and be excited about. The result of this truck is something really cool, really custom. This vision that we had at the beginning actually came together. This truck is right at home, whether it's for work, whether it's for play, whether you're hauling kids to soccer practice or doing your daily commute or whatever it ends up being. This truck is an accessible truck, and ultimately it's, it's really designed for the person that wants to do it all. All of you watching may think this incredible F-150 is just for pros, right? That's really not so. Just scan the QR code that is now displaying at the bottom of the screen to check out all the Ford products accessories that went into it, so you can customize your F-150 your way. Carter, what's the most exciting thing about the all-new 2021 F-150? I mean, it's an all-new truck, so the pro power on board is amazing. I mean, being able to hook up all your gear, all your stuff right in the bed, that's a game changer. But on top of that, uh, that new hybrid power plant. I, I was a little skeptical at first when we were decided we were going to work on a hybrid, but this thing is awesome. I love driving this truck. That's great. And, and it's all about productivity. You're right. I think the other thing for me that's really exciting is it's all about connectivity as well. The most connected F-150 we've ever built um, with Sync 4, with 50% uh, more, with a, double the computing power that we have had in our previous generation, plus over-the-air updates will be the first uh, and only full-size pickup uh, to offer standard over-the-air updates. So really something very exciting. Now, Craig, F-150 has been around for decades. How does the new F-150 raise the bar? So Todd, as you know, F-Series has been the market leader for full-size pickups for 43 years, and that's not an accident. We know our F-150 customers, and we have uh, spent more time than ever trying to understand their wants and needs to give them even more features and content that they've ever, than before, right? Like the Pro Power on board we talked about, the Power Boost, it's got the tailgate work surface, the interior work surface, it's got zone lighting, it's got all kinds of trailering features, and, and that's just a few. All right, uh, we've got a question here, the first one um, from Curtis. Um, how hard is it to create the BDS build at home, and how long would it take? 95% of the parts, if not more than that, are right off the shelf. It's stuff that you can get, whether it is through Ford Performance or actually through uh, you know, an off-road distributor that uh, carries a lot of this stuff. Um, the suspension is something that we have available right now. You can buy from us right now. Um, you know, all this stuff, there's so many cool things on this truck that uh, really it's, it's something that you can buy and build and do it yourself or have a shop do it. Um, as far as the time to do this, we didn't actually spend all that much time on it. Um, we've, you know, sourcing the parts and stuff like that, as you saw in the video, it definitely took some time. But really, this is like a week and a half, two weeks worth of build for our team. Um, we put together quite quickly. Craig, I'll kick this one to you. We've got a question from Kelsey. How does the, the 2020 design differ from previous models? Oh, wow. It's all new on the outside. Every exterior panel is new. We've really dialed up the design for the cues that our customers like, like the signature lighting and the drop-down belt. The interior, though, is just fantastic. It's all new, and it's extremely luxurious and, and very, very comfortable. High-end materials, this great max recline seat 180 degrees those work surfaces really designed to be kind of a sanctuary for 
for our owners. I'll throw this one to you, Carter. Yeah. What, what's one of your favorite mods to an F-150? Ooh. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm a little partial based on who I work for. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, the suspension is phenomenal. Um, yeah. What Ford and the team have done for a base truck is awesome. But, uh, I mean, you know, taking that to the next level, um, we have a four-inch kit on this truck. Uh, we have the Fox coilovers that really take that performance to the next level. It's obviously, it's, it's, it's not a Raptor, but it's the next best thing. Um, beyond that, I would say my two favorite things on this truck, that Putco light-up grill or light-up emblem, it's, mm -hmm. oof, that, that's just a cool trick feature. It really accents the, the factory headlights. Um, but beyond that, I'd say uh, the deck system. It's just such a cool piece that you have the dry storage underneath in the two drawers as well as 2,000 pounds worth of payload on top. Yeah, I think that's really the outstanding thing I like about the build is you've got that appearance look, so it's distinct, but at the same time, the productivity that you've put for both work and for recreation is really just outstanding. Awesome job. So, uh, Craig, uh, let me uh, throw this one to you. Um, what are the best features of the Power Boost? Well, you know, when we set out to do a full hybrid for the truck, we, you know, we could have done this as a fueler, but that's not what our customers want. They want great fuel and capability. I mean, you could tow 12,700 pounds, 700 miles on a tank of gas, and you get that great pro power on board. 2.4 kilowatts standard and up to 7.2 kilowatts of power available. So it's a great and solution. It's exactly what our customers are looking for. Uh, Craig, we've got a question from Diego. When will orders start to ship? Yeah, we are building in two assembly plants, Dearborn Truck and Kansas City Assembly Plant, and we'll be shipping uh, very, very shortly and have trucks and dealerships by the end of the year. Let me, I think we'll go, uh, Carter, this one's for you. Uh, it comes from Jane. If I wanted to build one like this, where would I buy the parts? That's the cool thing. Um, so obviously your local Ford dealer will have a lot of these parts available. You just pick up nice and quick and easy. Um, beyond that, uh, there, we have a network of shops all over the country and beyond. Um, so you can, the lift kit, the wheels, the tires, all that stuff that Ford doesn't offer, you can find a distributor that will have that stuff and fix you up in no time. Excellent. As you talked about, Carter, it's that idea of accessibility, right? It's not a mod that's over the top. It's something it's that people can do. It's not a one-off fabrication. It's exactly. Like that. This is all stuff that you can buy. Yeah, and as you said, I think really what makes it so uh, excellent is the fact that it, it's not one or the other. It's both work and recreation, which I think is outstanding. Um, Craig? This is one for you. Maybe we can talk a little bit about powertrains. So we've been sure. talking about the, uh, the power boost, of course. Will the five liter V8 still be offered on the 21 model year? That comes from Brad. Yes, it absolutely will. In fact, we've got what I think is the best powertrain lineup in the industry. We uh, put 10 speed transmissions with the entire lineup. We still have a base 3.3 3 .3 liter V6, two EcoBoosts, the 2.7 and the 3.5. We've got the three liter diesel. The five liter V8 actually has variable displacement this year. So that's new for additional fuel economy and capability. And then of course, we've got the power boost hybrid. So it's a great lineup and, a, and power of choice is what we call it, a powertrain for everybody. The truck looks awesome. How much can we expect the F-150 power boost to do just that, boost acceleration? I like to go fast too, says Chris. Yeah, it's great. The, the E-motor in the, the hybrid actually adds to the horsepower and torque for the engine. So it's 430 horsepower and 570 foot pounds of torque. You do get some instant torque available from, from that powertrain, put it in sport mode and, and away you go. How can you use a power tools without draining the battery? Uh, this comes from Xavier. So uh, the, the way that this works is the pro power on board draws the power out of the high voltage battery and the engine is there to recharge the battery. So you can be drawing, let's say 2.4 kilowatts, uh, 85 hours on a full tank of gas, and you can draw that full 7.2 kilowatts for 32 hours. So you have plenty of time to use the tools uh, and, and still be able to have enough uh, gas to get where you need to go. Cindy asks, maybe this is one I'll take, what is the starting MSRP for the 2021 F-150? So, Cindy, for us, uh, the value uh, for the money is always an important part of what we deliver with F-150, and the all-new is, is uh, really uh, no different. So MSRP starts at about $31,000. Um, that includes uh, destination and delivery charges. Um, that's for our XL model. We have six different choices uh, in series that go all the way up to our Ultra Premium Limited, um, and that's somewhere in the 73, 74,000 starting MSRP uh, perspective. 
that starting price um, has actually increased only $195 um, from where we started with our XL in the 2020 model year. So again, value is, is very much part of the equation with the all-new F-150. Always has been, always will. Um, let's take another question. Are the truck cameras better on the 2021 F-150? And that comes from Roberta. Well, we've got a 360 camera system that's digital. And the new thing for 21 model years, we've got trailer reverse guidance. So what that does is provide when you're backing up the trailer, these cameras on the, on the mirrors will actually give you different views of your trailer. They change depending on what position your trailer's in. And we are offering now a Chimsel camera uh, on the back of the cab that you can look down into the box. And it's good for fifth wheel and gooseneck hitching. So yeah, we've got great cameras. Plus we have a, you can uh, add a trailer camera as well and that's integrated into the system. So great cameras on the vehicle. And the other thing with that, I mean, the 12 inch display that you have to oh, view it all right. through is. Phew, right, huge. right, absolutely. Here's another question we've got. Uh, this one comes from Farah. What makes the interior so comfortable? Maybe Craig, I'll start with you. Yeah, it really is. It's about the materials. Uh, you know, this is our top of the line limited and it's going to have leather everywhere. It's got it on the door trims, on the IP. It's got carbon fiber treatment throughout, but the seats, they're quilted seats, heated, cooled and massaging. Uh, <laughs> and they do that max recline, but everything is laid out so it's easy to use and it's familiar to where it should be. And that makes it a really comfortable vehicle to uh, sit in and drive. And on top of that, though, the stereo. It, it's such a cool feature. When we were driving out here, it's such a cool feature. I mean, it's got, it's got speakers in the headrest. It's, oh, yeah. And, it, you know, above you, around you, it's just you're in this cocoon of music. It's awesome. And, Craig, I think not only with, with um, uh, the comfort that you get with the F-150, but for our uh, owners, another big one is always storage. Maybe talk a little bit about some of the new storage that we've put into the all-new F-150. Oh, sure. I mean, we've, we've got you know, now a standard upper glove box. Uh, we also have in the back row, people love our flat load floor, but now we have full width locking storage. It folds out of the floor. You put the seats down and lock them in place, and you've got locking storage all the way across. So lots of places to, uh, to store things and keep things uh, in place. Um, Craig, this one comes from John. Uh, maybe I'll throw it to you. What kind of mileage can you get with a hybrid powertrain? Oh, Todd, I'm glad you, or John, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> yeah, so, so the, the PowerBoost 4x4 version will get 24 miles per gallon city, highway, and combined. That's 30% better on the city and 20% better combined than our 3.5 liter EcoBoost. So outstanding fuel, but it still keeps all that great capability. The 700 mile range. It's so don't forget about the 700 mile range. <laughs> exactly. We can't forget about that. Um, so this one, I think Carter, you've, uh, as you talked about uh, early on with the build, um, I think Nick wants to know, will the LED oval be available on all F-150s? Well, that is an aftermarket accessory. That's from Putco, um, yep. but it, you know, it's a, a officially licensed product through Ford. So right. um, it's, they make multiple options so you can actually put it on any trim level of F-150. Obviously, ours has the front camera, um, so it's going to have an actual provision for that. But yeah, they offer it for all the setups. Maybe this is one that um, we can talk about. Uh, Craig, I'll maybe toss it to you, but uh, I can maybe help a little bit. Sure. Are there any new colors for this model year on the all new F-150? Boy, there's six new colors. My favorite is this color right here, antimatter blue. It That's my truck. It shows, yep, mine too. It shows us a very dark, but when we get it out in the sunlight, it, man, it just pops lots of different accents of the, uh, the metallic flake in the, in the color. Yeah. Well, definitely. When we, were, when we were building this truck, most of the time it was in the shop, and I was under the impression it was a black truck. You know, it, we kept hearing antimatter blue, and then the first time we pulled it out, we're like, wow, like you actually see that color and it, just the pop that it has. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Craig. No, I was just going to say, we've got Kodiak Brown, we've got Smoke Quartz, there's six new colors. Just Space to, White. It's just going to be outstanding. Customers be able to find uh, exactly the color that they want. Yeah, six new colors and, and uh, that exterior. And I think the team's done a great job of keying both the exterior, but the interior choices as well are Absolutely. outstanding when you talk about those six series from XL all the way up to Limited. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, Craig, I'll toss this one to you. I think I, I may have mentioned it, but Emily asks, what are the towing capabilities of the hybrid F-150? Yeah, 12,700 pounds uh, towing capability. Our max towing is on the EcoBoost. It's 14,000 pounds, but this one does 12,700 pounds. Just outstanding performance. 
Uh, well, that d just about does it for the F-150 Q&A session, brought to you live from the Ford XR Studio. You've been watching the primetime edition of Ford Auto Nights SEMA Show Special. Thanks to everyone who tuned in and participated today for our live session. And special thanks to Carter and Craig for stopping by to help answer your burning questions about all things F-150. If you want to know even more about the project build we checked out today, just scan the QR code that is now displaying at the bottom of your screen. Whether you like your vehicle's factory fresh or fully customized, we can't wait to see all of you on the road in your all-new 2021 F-150, our ultimate tool for work and for play. This is Todd Eckert from the Ford XR Studio, signing out.